Hi, my name is John Rivera Sedler, and we're here at Playa Restaurant. We have a garden on our rooftop here at Playa called Cielo Verde. It means green heaven. And it's actually better than organic. There's no footprint. It actually goes directly from the roof down into our kitchens, right onto the plate. Sometimes I like to cook traditionally, and sometimes I like to blow people's minds. The chili right now is taking its place as being a major flavor enhancer in food. This salad really reflects the things you'd be eating in the Mediterranean, but with lots of chilies. One of the most important things of this salad is to fire roast the chilies. The secret of cooking the best flavored pepper is right on an open flame. It creates a beautiful primal charcoal burn on the outside of the pepper. Nothing draws out the flavor like an open flame. Since we're charring our chilies, the next step is how are we going to peel them? The secret to getting the skin off of the chilies is using this perfect plain old paper bag. We take the chilies, we put them in the bag, and the steam from the chilies will automatically separate the skin from the flesh. We're just going to take the bag and close it airtight. It really coaxes out the flavor and the sugars of the pepper. I think one of the most important regional flavors of this Tijuana salad are the cactus pears. Almost agave, mild flavor, something very much of the desert. The only thing with the cactus pears is you have to be careful how you handle them. I recommend you use kitchen gloves in order to peel them. You can see you just take off the end of each side and then you just put a slit down the side and then you just peel it off like a jacket. I think that they're extraordinary, delicious and refreshing. The secret to this dish is to use several kinds of citrus, and that's really one of the iconic flavor combinations of the Latin in the Mexican kitchen, is citrus and chilies. Supreming is just a fancy word for getting rid of the skin in the pith. The secret to getting a perfect supreme is to take your knife all the way to the center of the grapefruit and then flip it out, and all you get is pure grapefruit segment. So the carne asada is really a take on grilling meat from street carts in Tijuana. When I cook meat, I really like to see a little bit of smoke. It adds a very primal char flavor. It caramelizes the outside skin of the meat. It seals in the beefy flavors inside. Many of the culinary students that come into the kitchen use thermometers to check doneness of beef, but the old fashioned way is just to poke the meat if it's firm it's getting to be medium rare medium. If it's still very soft, it's still rare. Also, crucially important, letting the meat rest after you've taken it out of the pan so it can compose itself and be perfect once it's sliced and put on top of the salad. Very, very important to let the meat rest. Here we have this Tijuana salad. It's got the carne asada and then the pomegranate seeds on top. Mm. I've been transported to Baja. Today I'm going to show you the secret how to crack into the shell of the sea urchin, remove the roe, and when you present it on the plate, it's a real showstopper. So you take the sea urchin, put it in a towel, and the secret is to look for the beak. And you're going to pierce it with your scissors, and then we're going to slice it around the shell and create a sea urchin bowl. And we're gonna pull out that small piece that had the beef. You can really see along the sides this beautiful golden orange row. Here we have the caviar of the ocean. This is it. This is the goal. It's very, very delicate. I recommend that you run it under very gentle, cool water. I hope that the home cook sees how we prepare this sea urchin and they make it themselves in their home. What I love about shrimp in ceviche is how it marries very well with the sea urchin. The sea urchin is very soft and luxurious and the shrimp has a lot more texture, a little toothy. We're gonna acidulate the ceviche with this fresh lime here. I really love ceviche that has Texture. I add a little brunoise of red bell peppers at the end to give it even more crunch. The shrimp really isn't raw. The addition of the lime juice to the mixture here actually cooks the shrimp. Presentation here at Playa is very important and the food should look very dramatic. One of the philosophies of our kitchen is to really build food. So I'd like to show you one of my special tools that's not made for the kitchen 
they're actually surgical tongs. Whether you're picking up very, very hot things or very spicy things, they're a necessity in the kitchen. Ceviche of sea urchin and shrimp with poblano sorbet. Wow, it's cold, refreshing, tart, the essence of the ocean. My name is John Sedler. You're watching Star Chef Secrets on Taste It. Don't forget to click to subscribe. Whoa, toilet brewed fruit wine? Really? Who drinks that? Find out on Why Would You Eat That? Or perhaps balls to the wall deep fried is more to your liking. Yum. Now you can learn all about Rocky Mountain oysters. But if that's just not your culinary style, learn how to make the perfect plate of pasta with star chefs Zach and Steve. Or learn how to make the super granddaddy of mac and cheese on Dude Food, right here on Tasted.